Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So this is the third video in my Python for Beginners series and I'll leave a link to my first two videos in the description box down below. So if you haven't watched those before, please go and do that first and then continue on with this one. But for now, in today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to create your first Hello World program in Python and we will be using the Jupyter Notebook. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to do that, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so creating your first Hello World program in Python, it's actually quite simple to do and not complicated at all. So the first thing you guys need to do is actually open up your Jupyter Notebook. So if you guys remember from my previous video, there's two methods that you can use to open up your Jupyter Notebook. The first one is really simple. You can put it into your search here or go through your apps. So if I go into Anaconda, you can see that the Anaconda Navigator is here. So just click onto that and wait for it to load up. Now this does take a minute or two. Once it has loaded up, you can see that you have your Jupyter Lab here. You can just launch it by clicking onto this button here. I'm going to quickly go through the second method that you can use to launch up your notebook and that's through your command prompt. Okay, so if you guys remember, the only thing you need to do is go into your command prompt and put in Jupyter Notebook and you press enter and that should appear in your browser. Okay, so you guys, let's begin by creating a Python file. So I'm going to click on to this one here. Now this part here is where all of your code is going to go. Before I get into the coding, I just want to walk you through some of the options that you have here and what you can do with them. So if you guys go into file, this is where you can create a new one. You can save the work on your notebook. You can rename the file open up a previous one and then there's a bunch of other options as well now i'll go through the edit and these ones in a little bit but for now um kernel is an important one as well and this is because if your code gets stuck in a loop you can just restart it from here and you're good to go before I get into the coding, I just want to rename this file. So you can do it from here as well. You want to right click on the name of your file, go into rename file, and I'm going to say first program. You guys can call it whatever you want. And I'm just going to save it. Again, I went through this in my last video. The extension of this file type is IPYNB. So I'm just going to rename this. So let's get into the fun part, you guys. So printing out the words hello world onto your screen. Again, like I told you guys, Python is a really, really simple programming language. What you're going to need is, I'm going to zoom this in a bit so you guys can see it better. I'm going to write the word print. You're going to open your bracket and close. And in between here is where your text is going to go. So inside quotation marks, I'm going to write hello world. And then at the end, notice that I have a semicolon here. You need that as well. And this is basically going to produce the output of Hello World onto our screens. When we run this program, it's actually a way for us to test and see if Python is actually working in our systems and if it's actually installed into our machines correctly. Before we get into running this program, let's just zoom out a little bit and I'll go through some of the options that I left before. So for example, the edit one. So this part here is known as a cell. So what you guys can do is you can undo, redo, you can cut cells, you can copy cells, you can paste them, delete them, select them all, move them up and down. There is a bunch of options that you can you guys can use and they're actually really helpful as well. And then we have options for running. So you can run the selected cell, you can run a cell above or below. There's you can run them all, you can restart and then run them all. There is again a lot of options that you can play around with and experiment. 
so now you guys let's get to the really important part of this video so running your code in jupyter lab so what you guys can do is if i zoom you guys in there's like a little play button here and if you hover over this it says run the selected cells and advance so you want to click on this and below it you can see that the words hello world have been printed onto our screens so we know that our, our code has worked another way you can do this is by pressing if you press shift and enter at the same time it will run your code so you can press this button up here or use shift and enter but you will get the same output and this actually indicates that anaconda and jupyter notebook have been successfully installed into our machines and in our future videos we're going to be using the jupyter lab again to look into data science with python now that we have our first hello world program written in python so that's it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys learned about how to create your first program in python in the jupyter notebook and how to print hello world onto our screens now that we have the basics out of the way and you guys are familiar with the jupyter notebook and how to run your programs inside of it from future videos i'm going to be teaching you guys all about data science so we're gonna get into the really interesting stuff so please stay tuned for that until we code again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Leave a comment down below for any recommendations or questions you guys may have and I will get to them as quick as I can. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.